Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and welcome to the English news of Bình Phước Radio Television Station and New Paper. And now I have slide as usual. 1,396 grade 9 students sit exam to identify excellent students. Impressive achievement for Đồng Phú Bầu Racing Team. Full-time lectures later convinced meeting to talk rap loss. Đà Nẵng resume international air routes. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bình Phước Department of Education and Training has held a provincial exam to select excellent students in grade 9 for the 2021-2022 school year. This year's exam was divided into 11 task points in 11 districts, towns and cities in Bình Phước province, with 1,396 students participating. These students were selected at district-level exams for excellent students from junior high school. Candidates competed in mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, literature, history, geography, life orientation, English, informatics, and technology, according to the basic secondary education curriculum. The competition aims to identify students with high academic achievements, creating the conditions for them to promote their talent, creative thinking, and ability to apply their knowledge. It's also an opportunity for schools to continue promoting the emulation movement of teaching well, studying well, thus improving the quality of education. Thanks to its open investment adjacent policy, capital flows from foreign direct investment to Bình Phước province have been a bright spot in its economic landscape over recent years. It currently has 13 industrial parks and 8 industrial clusters on a total area of 380 hectares. 11 industrial parks have been fully fitted out with infrastructure and put into operation. The province attracted 63 foreign investment projects last year with capital of $514 million, an increase of 88.5% in project numbers and threefold in capital compared to 2020. Bingfield currently has 120 domestically invested projects with total capital of $12 trillion. In the first quarter of this year, it attracted nine FDI projects with $23 million in capital. It considers the success of businesses as success for the province and stands side by side with businesses, removing difficulties and creating the most favorable conditions possible. The province will strengthen its promotion of domestic investment and FDI based on quality and technology use. The Đồng Phú Bow Racing Team from Bình Phước Province won first prize at the traditional bow races in Ho Chi Minh City in 2022. Representing Bình Phước Province, the team from Đồng Phú District with 24 rowers competed in Class A, which includes four events, 10-man boat rowing, 20-man boat rowing, 10-male and female boat rowing, and 20-male and female boat rowing. Sport is all about doing your best. We have great determination and make great efforts to secure good results for the locality. I'm extremely happy. The Dong Phu team won the 10-man boat rowing and 20-man boat rowing events, while finishing third in the 10-male and female boat rowing and 20-male and female boat rowing events. It therefore won first prize in overall competition. Other special activities were held such as flyboard shows, stand-up paddle boarding and paragliding. Let's take a look at the top story around country now. The National Assembly Standing Committee opened a meeting of full-time deputies on March 28 to discuss for draft laws to be submitted to the coming third session of the Parliament. Party General Secretary Nguyễn Phú Trọng attended the event. In his opening remarks, National Assembly Chairman Vung Ding Hue said the two-day meeting focuses on a number of contents. Among others, a draft law amending and supplementing some articles of the law on intellectual property, the draft revised law on emulation and combination, 
the trial revised law on cinematography and a trial revised law on insurance business. The national leader stressed that the thorough preparation of the bills before they are submitted to the National Assembly for approval is to guarantee their highest quality and save the time for the Parliament's coming session. The top legislator also pointed out some major issues of the drafts that need the lawmakers' opinions. The meeting is held both in person and via video conference. It is the first of its kind in the 15th year. The Vietnam Electricity Group EPN and the French Development Agency on March 28 signed an agreement on non-government guaranteed loan worth 87 million US dollars to implement the Southern Vietnam Power Distribution. Signing ceremony was attended by stakeholders from EPN, AFG, Committee for Management of State Capital and Enterprises. Delegates at the event agreed to fulfill this huge potential task assigned by the party and the state. The event and its units have rolled out investment activities to expand its electric city distribution network. The Southern Vietnam Power Distribution Project comprises 33 sub-projects covering Bin Che, An Giang, Bin Thuận, among others. According to a feasibility report ratified by the EVN SPC, all of these sub-projects show economic and financial feasibility. We combined investment capital of over $196 million, the sub-projects are scheduled to last from 2022 to 2024. The signature, which is in line with the strong announcements made by Vietnamese Prime Minister at COP26, demonstrates the importance of long-term partnership between EVN and AFD. It also marks EVN's ambition to develop sustainable energy. In his remarks, Kunan says such kind of projects will have the EVN and Vietnam achieve the target of low carbon emissions and sustainable development, implement the Paris Agreement on Climate Change and full finish commitment of natural emissions by 2050, made at the 26 UN Conference of Parties, a COP26 in grass grow. So it's a direct loan it, without any uh, uh, guarantee for the for the government, so it's a, it will be not affect the budget of the state. Since 2017, AFD loans have played a part in the Vietnam's group investments, meeting requirements for electric city supply in social economic development. A trip to Macho district in the northern province of Hoa Binh not only offer visitors a chance to immerse themselves in nature and relish the fresh air, but also has them see the lives of ethnic minority cultures up close. In particular, the traditional broadcast weaving of the West Thai ethnics has left an indelible impression on visitors. The beautiful and brocaded patterns of the white tie ethnics are vivid illustrations of meticulousness and skills of the group's women. I learned how to weave from my grandmother and mother when I was very young. I mastered the craft when I was 15 years old. Many brocade weaving cooperatives have been formed in the area, helping to promote brocade products and improve incomes for local women. Women can rent the time they work at the cooperative. Along with working in the fields and doing the housework, they also come here to weave. This helps preserve our traditional identity by boosting incomes. Made by a unique combination of traditional weaving mantas and the creativity of local people, the brocade products have a distinctive style and fine patterns and are favored by local and foreign visitors. Local brocade weaving cooperatives are working to have the products reach new markets. The brocade products have become increasingly popular among local consumers after being taken to trade fairs nationwide. Most of the handmade brocade is sold in Hanoi's old quarter. Local and foreign customers love our traditional craft and cotton products. 
local authorities have paid due regard to developing brocade weaving, as they see it as a means of preserving the traditional craft and stabilizing incomes. It is necessary to preserve and develop traditional brocade weaving, which has played an important role in the life of ethnic minority groups for years. Measures to develop brocade weaving have been highlighted in resolution we have issues. Colorful brocade is on sale on every corner of Thai villages. Most visitors to Maicho take home brocade souvenir rustic gifts from this mountainous area. That's all for news today. Thanks for your watching BBTV News. Goodbye and see you next time.